Monday, week one, August 1998. We are at the Go Home Show prior to SummerSlam. And last week we saw Vince McMahon talk to Paul Bear. You know, Paul Bear offered Kane services to take out Stone Cold Steve Austin. And then I'm moving the headset. The Undertaker said, You don't need any sir any Kane services. The Undertaker's gonna become next world champion at SummerSlam. No matter who it is, Stone Cold or Chris Candido. Stone Cold defeated Chris Candido in a hell of a match. I talked about it a lot last week. Go back to the last episode, I'll talk I talk about it and then I talk about, you know, title defenses. I also talked about how I don't script promos exactly out. I let you guys use your imaginations and such. Also, we had uh, Kane defeat Al Snow. Kane and Brian Pillman versus the Extreme Allies tonight. That's Mankind and Al Snow. Generic name, but hell, it makes sense. Uh, D'Lo Brown turns face. He's in singles action tonight against The Rock. And then, uh, <clears throat> what else? Oh, yeah. Too Cool did their dance thing. That's important to remember later on. All right, so let's kick it off with contract signing. All right, right here we are at the contract signing. Uh, okay, yeah. Here we are at the contract signing with The Undertaker, Stone Cold, and Jerry Lawler. Pretty much The Undertaker at this point isn't the, you know, white, face-painted, powdered. Like, he's just The Undertaker. He's still the Undertaker that we all know and love, but he's a mixture of the Undertaker. Like, at the time, like, if you remember and go back, it's hard for me to explain, but at the time, he was very mysterious, not mysterious, but just very down-to-earth. It seemed like it was Mark Calloway, not the Undertaker. And Jerry Lawler serves as the, uh, you know, in-ring guy again. Pretty much Jerry's good at this, so why not keep him in doing it? All right, so next, we get Gangrel vs. X-Pac. It ends when Owen Hart attacks X-Pac, causing DQ. X-Pac and Owen Hart, like a blood feud. And Owen's really pissed off that X-Pac made fun of him last week or whatever, saying, I am not a nugget, maybe we could do that sort of thing. Who knows. From there, we get Rikishi defeating Matt Bloom. That's irrelevant, but he gets a win. Then they do the dance segment, only for the Un-Americans come out and attack and beat down... Grandmaster Sexy, Scotty Tuhati, and Rikishi to get their heat prior to the 3v3 match at SummerSlam. Next, we got Stone Cold Steve Austin cutting a promo on The Undertaker. Pretty much, you know, saying his last thoughts prior to the match at SummerSlam, as I don't think they're going to cut a promo at SummerSlam. Here, D'Lo Brown challenges Mark Henry to a match. Mark Henry accepts they face each other at SummerSlam. Notice D'Lo Brown turns face, so I gave him a new picture. Also, we have Legion of Doom versus Headbangers. LOD picks up another win, but after the match, the corporation runs out and attacks the Road Warriors. They're pissed about losing last week. Sort of losers, and it's just continue this feud going forward. Undertaker once again cuts his promo on Stone Cold Steve Austin and explains his dislike for Stone Cold or this, that. Here... Marvelous ones are being heels, and they're, uh, you know, bragging about being champions when Batista and Road Dogg show up, and they just crash the party. Pretty much a little bit of a comedy segment, and Batista and Road Dogg being, you know, badasses, but goofy at the same time, and Marvelous ones just being really goofy and out there. Here's The Rock vs. D'Lo Brown, ends when The Rock... Pins D'Lo Brown after Mark Henry interfered and caused a distraction. Triple H was on commentary. And then Triple H came in and hit The Rock with the rock bottom to send a message to Summer, prior to SummerSlam. We then go and Ahmed Man Johnson in the ring. He's caught in a promo saying, ha, 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 Chris Candido couldn't win the title. If that was me, I would have won the title. But Chris didn't do it. He sucks, this, that. Chris Candido comes out. If I suck so much, we'll fight at SummerSlam. And then I'm going to kick your ass for last time. And I had enough of you. That, you know, it's basic. Then in the main event, we have Extreme Allies versus Brian Pillman and Kane. 89 rating. I was actually hoping for higher because all four guys are pretty damn good workers. And then Mankind and Austin know good uh, tag chemistry. But Kane picks up the win here, pinning Austin with the choke slam. Pretty much, you look at, you know, the four competitors, you make two, two teams. 
Brian Pillman Kane. Okay, they're going to be main eventers. Mankind, main eventer, Al Snow. He's hit his extreme popularity point, in my opinion. He could go farther, but with the gimmick, it's hard for me to envision him as going farther. But it would maybe down the line, him versus like a Stone Cold for the title. That would be an interesting story. You know, really push him going crazy. But who knows? All right, so 87 rating. Uh, very happy with it. You know, it's a good go-home show rating, and I'll take it. So last week it was 37 to 23. I've been on a run, so let's see if we beat WCW again. So, woo, that's shitty. We pick up the win here over WCW, and it is 38 to 23. The streak continues. I'll have to look back and tell you how how long it's actually been since they beat me. But, uh, let's see. Anything else I want to show you? No, there's nothing else I really want to show you. WCW, anything I want to point out? No, not really. All right, so uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to call it an episode. And have a good one.